I have only one question tonight. Is this about the nation's autonomy? Is this about the nation's respect or is it about individual ambition? Vice President of the IOA, Tarlochan Singh, Tessin Punawala, political analyst and columnist, does not blame the government in this case, does not blame the politicians. Sanjay Jha, I don't know your position on this. Uh, Borya Majumdar, well-known cricket historian, Times Now's expert. Morad Ali Khan, we greatly respect, Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Rahul Mehra, one-man army, sports activist and lawyer. And Michael Ferreira, former world billiards champion. Ladies and gentlemen, actually only gentlemen tonight. I'm sorry for that. Gentlemen, I couldn't have asked for a more polarized and a better panel on this. Rahul Mehra, let's open the debate here to you. Tonight, is this about individual ambition? Is this about the nation's autonomy or is this about political interest? Your opening comment on this, Rahul. Well, it's about a few handful of people holding the entire nation to ransom. It's about uh, their shame. I don't consider this to be a national shame. In fact, this is a godsend opportunity. I personally am extremely happy that su such a moment has come. It should have come two and a half years back when the uh, CWG scams took place and the government of India should have uh, played a more proactive role in suspending this body, uh, which, bro which then brought about national shame. Uh, 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 you know, uh, the way forward, according to me, uh, is that... Um, uh, these bodies will actually now try and divide the players and I just hope and request through your channel uh, uh, Arnab, that uh, something of this sort does not happen. They do not divide and rule as they have been doing over the last 70 years. I hope the Olymp Olympic medal winners, the former Olympians, the Indian sports athletes actually don't consider themselves but consider this to be a moment uh, when the future of sports and the future generation of sports is at stake. So therefore, accountability and transparency, which is completely missing, democratic who principles are we defending? which have been thrown to the wind. Who are we by defending? This question number two, Tarlochan Singh. Who are we defending? Are we defending are Dalit Banot, good... a man who is accused of financial misappropriation and conspiracy at the Commonwealth Games? Is this whole nation going to come out in defence of Lalit Banot? I think. I think we are discussing the decision of IOC. And we should confine ourselves to how it has happened and how to beat it. Yes. Now the nation has to be properly educated by you who are the most popular, our anchor in the country. And we should go by the facts, not just shouting and just accusing and abusing for nothing. After all, how it has happened, for the last two years, your channel has publicized that IOC has been writing to Prime Minister, IOC has been writing to the sports minister that if the sports code which government has introduced, if they now put this on Olympic bodies, the IOC will withdraw the recognition. This is a hard fact. Government of India sent a delegation to IOC. They didn't agree. So this thing was on for last two years. Now, IO, what is our fault? IO has accepted the constitution of IOC. We amended it and got approval from IOC. Now when the election was on, people went to the High Court. High Court issued direction, go your election by the sports court. The moment we set it, IOC wrote to us, don't go by the sports court. Now, who can defy High Court order? If you do, then contempt of court. So what is our fault? The fight is whether sports court is to be accepted or not. That is the no, IOC not provision, sure. nothing else. So we should Rahul wait for their order. This is the situation. Is so we should Singh now I want, see. Murad Ali Khan. I, want, I want Murad Ali Khan to come in at this point of time and whether he agrees with the way you are giving this a spin. Yeah. I do not know if it is as simple as that. Murad, what do you think of Tarlochan Singh's defense tonight? No. Should the nation uh, it, come it, out in defense not, of the present Olympic administrators or should yeah. it ask the present lot to go? <coughs> The, the president administrator, the IOA, is squarely responsible for creating the situation. They should have discussed with the government, agreed on the sports code and debated whatever points need to be changed, could have been changed and incorporated them, that, those points in their constitution before going in for elections. The, they, they had put them in, uh, themselves in this position because if they would have gone to elections with the IOC charter, then the Ethics Commission report would have come in. In any case, IOC would have still uh, taken action and suspended them. If they did the elections as per the government guidelines, then also I, IOC <coughs> should have, would have suspended them, which they did. So in any case, they had put themselves in that position that they did not discuss with the government, that did not incorporate the relevant portions of the sports code in the constitution, which would have made them eligible to have the elections as per the Olympic Charter. So what are we fighting they for? Are, 
they are putting Murad, the blame. Morad, eventually, they, they, what are we see, fighting today, for? What is we are fighting to score? clean May up the... Point out two, we are, two we, aspects we are, of the sports code. Yeah. The, 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 the main thing they fight is that retention, this, retaining this the position score. for long duration. Basically that makes two over. points. Uh, Tessin, yeah. one, don't let people above the age of 70 head our sports bodies, something to that effect. Secondly, more than two terms should not be allowed. Ask any young Indian today, Tessin. Uh, we want overage, you know, let's bring this down to basics. Do you want overage politicians to sit as sports bosses for the rest of their lives? People not connected with sports in any way. I'm sorry to bring in age, I value experience, but people who are 80 plus. You take a straw poll, I want to know how many people will take the position that you do, defending these sports bosses. No, I'm not defending the sports bosses, Anab, per se. I am trying to say that yes, uh, that the government has brought in the sports bill. There is something positive about it that must be implemented. It is a good time to change the system. But the IOC is also crossing its limit. Now tell me, is there no government interference when the IOC says that the government is interfering? Are no, you sure where you it, stand on this, Tessie? Don't very, change your position. I am not changing my position. I, is there no government interference in China, in Saudi Arabia? I am asking you a straight question tonight. Do you support overage sports bosses sitting as as you know treating sports like their ancestral property sitting there forever having endless terms i have the simple answer to yes that yes or no i have the simple answer to that is these sports bo bosses yes or have, no. been, have been democratically elected no no yes elected. or no this entire that. kalmadi no, no, coterie no no one second let me let me let me first of all i kalmadi is not involved in this at all since one year he is absolutely it's a not kalmadi involved. coterie you can ask anyone about yeah, it anyway let's think about chautala is a denied. kalmadi coterie but come on so let's, let's not get let's there not be in denial i think people have mentioned kalmadi quite clearly here but let me let me get to the thing First is the sports bo the sports bosses are democratically elected. Come should on. the should this should this sports bill come in, which I personally think is a good idea, it has to be passed by parliament. I want to know. I want you to tell the. I want to know what we are fighting for. We as a nation, Borya, are on the verge of being expelled from the Olympic uh, playing countries of the world. We have joined the ranks or are about to join the ranks. I think of Iraq, Kuwait, and Afghanistan. In fact, Kuwait avoided expulsion. I think. Can you tell the people of this country, Bodia, why we are in this situation today? You know, firstly, just to correct you, you said we are on the verge. We have been expelled. So it's not on the verge anymore. To quickly answer Tehsin's question, he, answered, he said China and Saudi Arabia. Are you going to sit in judgment of the IOC and say because of China and Saudi Arabia and go and check their faults when you've already been expelled and your athlete's dreams at this point in time is over? You are not the arbiter of the IOC. You are just supposed to abide by principles of the no. IOC charter. Keep your house in order. First, keep your house in order before going and challenging the IOC. Question, how did it happen? Of course it happened because it, it was yeah, going to happen. Over the last two and a half years, this was already in the offing. Rahul is spot on. I have a difference with Rahul. He sees this as an opportunity. I don't see it as an opportunity. For me, you know, I'm one of the most optimistic people. But for me, it is only pessimism and doom. Where do I see the way forward? I see further mess, further controversy, further political clinging. Will any of your political <coughs> class today relinquish the position saying let India be reinstated? Mr. Chautala and Tarlochan Singh will say Randhir is to blame. Randhir will That's say the, point the ruling dispensation is to blame. The athletes will get slaughtered. The fact of the matter is the sports minister says, you know, I'm only concerned about that the sports the persons. It is their moment of embarrassment. No, it's not that their moment the of point. embarrassment for heaven's sake. Michael it's a Farana, moment of embarrassment do you think for these people who have put us in this position. Michael Farrera, do you think Boria Majumdar has nailed the issue? Time for the politicians to take a walk. Absolutely. But there is one point, uh, Arnab, that I'd, I would like to stress, and I'm indebted to my good friend Rahul for enlightening me on this. And that is, way back in 1999, the Olympic Charter was amended to bring about uh, a limitation of term, uh, a, a cap on, on the age uh, uh, on which you could operate, uh, two terms of four years for certain officials, not more than 12 years for the president. I mean, there was no <coughs> divergence between the sports code in these areas and the Olympic Charter. And therefore, if these guys, in the, Olymp uh, the current fellows in the Olympic Association had followed 
the sports code had followed the Olympic Charter, which they were supposed to do, they would have shot themselves in the foot and been out in the cold. And that is why they did not follow it. It's as simple as that. So, so they don't want to follow it, Sanjay Jha, simply because they want to hold on I to their post. Mr. Absolutely. I mean, where's the argument here? See, g gentlemen, gentlemen, you see, this is now being presented by Tarlochan Singh, please excuse me, and some others, as some national issue. We must restore nation's honor. Sanjay Jha, are we restoring nation's honor here? Yeah, that's it. Are we sure what we are fighting for? Should we fight for these politicians? Uh, Arnab, uh, let me answer that. You know, this is a classic example of the famous saying, the path to hell is sometimes paved with good intentions. Good intentions. Uh, let, let me tell you, the sports code actually is a very positive <laughs> initiative to bring about transparency and accountability in all the national sports federations. It's a positive step going forward. Now, the tragedy is that if you look at the Delhi High Court order, and I got to agree here with what has been stated by some of the other people in the panel, that the Delhi High Court said that the elections have to be held by honoring both the Indian, uh, the International uh, Olympic Committee as well as the sports court. Now, if the high court believes that both are compatible or they're really not in conflict, they're then, not in conflict. Then, then end of day, the IOC has to also understand that point. Now, this is a communication breakdown. I believe, uh, Arnab, in all honesty, I'm not saying that because of the Congress party or something, but I'm I sorry. honestly believe that Ajay Markan and Jitender Singh have been too young. I mean, Jitender is still new in his job. I'm sorry. But the truth I'm is, sorry, he has been a far-sighted and a good sports minister. Sorry, Sanjay, we are complicating something very no. simple. There is a revolutionary change being brought about in sports I'm administration. I'm sorry, Sanjay. I am asking a simple question today. This, Sanjay, hear me for a second. Sure. Hear me for a second. The limited point I am saying is that this great and increasingly young country does not want sport to be ruled by overage politicians who never want to relinquish their post. Amen to that. I completely Sanjay, agree please with you. Please don't mind. I am being very direct. No, no. I, uh, Arnab, on your and, channel, and, and, on and your if channel, changes are brought about like Lausanne wants, <coughs> like Switzerland wants. These politicians will all have to go. Uh, uh, Arnab, so they are all your... ganging up and making this out to be some national interest issue. Yeah, but no, no, but, 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 but Arnab, Ajay we Markans... We have a choice tonight, don't we, Rahul Mehra? No, 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 How one minute. But, uh, uh, but Arnab, Ajay Markan's national sports development... Absolutely. ...was going Arnab, to address that Arnab, very same problem. Uh, Arnab, Arnab, the fact is it didn't get passed in the cabinet, but it still has Arnab, a future. Have... And we should believe in that. I think it's important to pursue Arnab, a very, have... very good and a healthy initiative to make all the national sports federations accountable, transparent, and give the players a greater representation. And politicians have to have a limitation. They can't be there for Arnab, Arnab, you have very rightly. Ar Arnab, you have. You want people Arnab, like Borad Ali Khan. Arnab, Arnab, you have very rightly Borad said that it's not sport. about. Or do you want overage politicians to run sport Ar even Ar in Ar 2030? That's that is the issue. Can I can I come in, Arnab? Arnab, the people Isn't it, elected Rahul? people people elected this time are of 50 Arnab, years old. Arnab, the issue uh, you have said you have absolutely hit the nail on its head, Arnab. Nobody is overage. 